And that, that painting by Joseph Ropes was definitely, the Hudson River School was kind of really the high point of American uh, landscape painting. It really devolved, evolved into a really great art form. Uh, but I want to step back a little bit in the history of, of uh, landscape paintings. And this is a landscape painting, uh, it's the Chinese export porcelain made around 1790 to 1820. Um, and the landscape, the Chinese landscape, was one of the first pure landscape paintings. I think that was out there that reaches back into the, at least to the 16th century or 17th century. And, uh, and it's nice to have this example translated into porcelain that was sent to America. I think earlier on in America, most landscape paintings were found in the backgrounds of portraits. And when I think of some of the earliest American landscape paintings, I think of backgrounds in portraits, um, a little bit like uh, the portrait of the child uh, Herbert Goodwin by Elgin Gideon Bradbury of Saco, Maine. It's a portrait, but the landscape is part of the portrait in the background. So you don't really study and, and acknowledge that, that that is a landscape painting, it's a portrait. But when you look at some of the earlier landscape paintings by uh, Ralph Earl and the Peels, then you really start to see that these landscapes started in the background as part of an element of a, of a portrait, generally you know, focused on a person. So when, when we're done, I urge you to come up and what's interesting is Herbie Goodwin is actually pointing to three tulips. They certainly appear to be tulips. Tulips were imported. They were not native of the colonies. And there's actually a row of tulips that leads down into the Saco River. And it's really quite fascinating. So he was so excited about uh, and the artist that he actually has Herbie pointing to the tulips, like this was a really big deal, you know, that they had tulips in their yard. And so, uh, and that is Herbie, he's a boy, he's got his heart on one side, and, that, and uh, so what's interesting about this particular painting, just as an object, that Herb, uh, the artist, Bradbury, never varnished this painting. That's exactly how it came down since it was painted. And when we first got this, the painting restorers we took it to said they were amazed. And they took one little spot and cleaned it, and the colors, just all that is is just fine dirt, that grease that has ad added over 150 years. That painting, if it was clean, would look like it was painted this morning. Never had a spot of varnish on it. And Bradbury even made his own frames. So he even made that frame as well. So it was really quite interesting of a main artist.